What's the worst Easter candy to hoppity hop into your mouth? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Quick reminder that starting this Monday, we're gonna be taking a very quick two week spring vacation, but we're gonna be back before you even realize we were gone. Returning April 19th with new episodes every Monday through Friday, just like you like it. Mm-hmm, Halloween. It has an opposite, and it ain't Christmas, it's Easter. That's right, you see, kids get free candy during Halloween by dressing up in cool costumes and bothering their neighbors, but for Easter, Kids just have to dress up in their Sunday best and then literally hunt for candy like some kind of desperate sugar forager. Yeah, and then after all that hunting, you end up with some kind of weird egg with something gross in the middle yeah. or a big chocolate bunny with nothing in the middle except hollowed out lies. So, introducing the first ever one day premiere bracket competition to name the most awful, terrible, disgusting, no good Easter candy of all time. It's a shameful sugary showdown, a hopeless hoppity hunt, and the crappiest collection of confectionery creations ever. It's time for Nobody Wanna Eat This Worst Easter Candy Tournament. Wow. He's gonna blow a fuse. We posted a list of the most vile Easter candies on the shelves, and you voted on which one you thought was the worst. In fact, 23,684 of you voted. Wow! These votes determine the seeds in the first ever Easter basket bracket. The contenders are Marshmallow Peeps, Cadbury Cream Eggs, Russell Stover Milk Chocolate Coconut Nest, Russell Stover Solid Milk Chocolate Rabbit, Whoppers Robin Eggs, Brock's Marshmallow Chicks and Rabbits, Brock's Classic Jelly Bird Eggs, and Brock's Marshmallow Easter Hunt Eggs. In each matchup, we'll decide which Easter candy is nastier and whichever candy does not not move on in the tournament will be subjected to the Easter egg punt in which we punt that candy right into the Easter basket behind us using our lucky Giants rabbit foots. Giants is a Giants rabbit. It's rabbits. a Giants rabbits. All right, and then we'll just eat those later even though they suck. In the end, we will officially name the worst Easter candy that exists and thus deposit it into the little bunny barf bag mm. right where it belongs. Let's get ready to grumble. All right, thanks to you, we have our number one seed, which are our Marshmallow Peeps, mm. versus our number eight seed, Cadbury Cream Eggs. I, I love Cadbury Cream Eggs. Me too. Well, I like Peeps, <laughs> but I love Cadbury Cream Eggs. I mean, John Oliver joked on his show that they taste like mermaid placenta covered in candle wax and are only sold in stores to benefit an Illuminati elite class. Sometimes it's hard to peel these things, and you might get a little bit of residual Foil. That's good, man. I like mermaid placenta. Mm. Number one seed right here. They're very ubiquitous. I will say, 55 mm. million of these are made every freaking day. I don't know if I've ever eaten a peep. And I don't need to eat one in this round because it has to move on. We Hold both on. we both like this. Take a little bite, Neil. You oh. got I mean you gotta take I, a little bit of bite. I, I'll eat it eventually when when it when it when it's not a clear choice. Okay. You've so been a peep. It was a little scary. And I, every time people see it on the internet, it scars them, and I'm sorry. So, we're saying that the Cadbury cream egg is mm. better, which means we have to mm -hmm. punt it using the rabbit's foot. You wanna give a go at that? I mean. I got my rabbit's foot right here. Okay, toss it to yourself, I guess. Oh. Okay, that was, this is gonna be difficult. Now we've got Russell Stover Milk Chocolate Coconut Nest versus Russell Stover Solid Milk Chocolate Rabbit. Russell Stover versus Russell Stover. Let's, Russell Stover's gonna lose. Let's start with these rabbits. Grab yourself one of these here. Now, um, just a little pagan fact here. The Easter Bunny was originally a pagan symbol of fertility and the coming of spring and was eventually adopted into Easter traditions. And it just so happens that these bunnies that we bought off of Amazon cost $6.66 each. And I just ate the ears. How does it taste? I think that there's a universal chocolate bunny chocolate taste that is kind of waxy and doesn't taste as good as like a chocolate bar, but- It's, it's not great. It's just sort of like- It's bad. It's the kind of chocolate that can fill a mold. Very I was making well. I was making fun of the hollow bunnies earlier, but I actually miss the sensation of biting into the bigger hollow bunny and the little eyeballs on the on the hollow bunny. Yes, I if they were solid, it would it break your teeth. Um, it's like biting into a brick. They I'm, gotta make it hollow. I've never heard of these. Me neither. The milk chocolate coconut nest. I will say I do happen to agree with my favorite candy website, CandyWrapperMuseum.com. 
who said, this looks less like a nest and more like a dainty cow patty. It kind of has the consistency of a Nestle crunch. I don't love coconut, but the more I eat it on the show, the chocolate, good. the more I like it. We should feed him more weird, weird stuff on this show. I, I thought the bunny was gonna be better because it's just chocolate, but the bunny sucks. No. This it's, is actually very tasty. You're too good. We got to get rid of you. Oh! Look at him really trying. Oh! You got one more one shot. One more shot. Oh, it's going to happen. Whatever. It's going to happen. Before we get into this, we are very excited about this quarter's Mythical Society collectible Yes, item. if you are a familiarizer of Lionel Richie, you know this is his debut album on vinyl with the most amazing centerfold pose in history. And if you're a student of Rent and Link history, you know that this album is extremely important to us. This one in particular used to be uh, on our set back there and in a lot of videos. So we have created the Rhett and Link Sing Lionel record. Yes, we completely recreated the cover. And yeah, we did. <laughs> Look at that, it makes sense both ways. Yeah, you got to figure out how you want to display this thing. Oh, and by the way. And we, participate in Project Lionel, we which we did in college. two of the tracks from this album, Round and Round and You Are, uh, a total like professional recording. I mean, we sounded as professional <laughs> as we possibly It's like a totally can. professional recording. I mean, it isn't like just two guys and a guitar. We did like a complete recreation of the track. We're the very excited about it. The vinyl is in here. Is the vinyl in here? Yes, it is. Don't break it. Oh, yeah. Is the vinyl in here? So again, go to Mythical Society. Oh, let's see, it looks the same. It looks the same, and then look on the back. We're on the back, facing the other way. We like to do that. Because that's what we do. That's something kind of cute that we like to do. To get that, join the Third Degree Monthly by April 30th, or Third Degree Quarterly or Annual Plans by June 30th. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details. Okay. All right, we got Whopper's Robin Eggs as seed number three versus Brock's Marshmallow Chicks and Rabbits. Let me tell you a little bit about these Robin Eggs, which I don't think I've had. It's essentially just a Whopper with a candy coating. Uh, each Robin's uh, egg specs are handcrafted. I have trouble believing that. Also, this sounds like science fiction, but each one of these eggs gets their shape by way of a top secret process involving a vacuum. I gotta see the how it's made on this one, y'all. And uh, you know what? They taste really good. It's like um, a malt ball. It's got a maltiness and it's got just enough chocolate and each one is special, but th there is um, a, th th there's a, there's a it coating get, of it sadness. Gets, it gets bad. No, not to me. Here's what gets it, bad. It got You're bad. eating little Robin babies. Hold on, did you eat a whole one? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I did. I liked it. Now these I've things. I've never even heard of these. I mean, does this look familiar to you? Here is a rabbit. Kind of looks like a, Oh, circus peanut. It tastes, it is a circus peanut. Yeah, it's a freaking circus peanut. That's awful. Masquerading or something for Easter. I'm not even gonna finish that. Yeah. Uh, That's horrible. All right, Link, but these, uh, we're on the same page. They're your, so good, they gotta move on. Get your mitt out and let's just both go until we get one in there. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't backhand it. Yeah! Okay, well, okay. Well, it happened faster than it should have. Well. And now we've got Brock's classic Jelly Bird eggs okay. and Brock's Marshmallow Easter Hunt eggs. Yes, so Jelly Bird eggs are just... Just jelly beans. Just jelly beans, right? But slightly bigger than a regular jelly bean. Also, they are the number two selling jelly bean in springtime. Over here we got the oh, yeah. uh, Marshmallow Easter eggs. What color do you want? You want a white one? No, give me green. Now, Mama Nell, my grandma, Yeah. she used to have these. So it's marshmallow. I like everything, but I recognize that this is really bad. It's like, I'm not attracted to men, but I can tell when a man is good looking. Ew. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, that's a good looking guy. That's how I feel about this. I don't like it, but I kind of do, because I kind of like everything. It tastes like it's made of crushed teeth. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why, why, why are you even talking if you like everything? I. I I think this well, is It reminds nasty. me of my grandmother. Is it marshmallow in the middle? No. It's not. It's not. It's just whiteness. I, we're, we're, this we, meets no expectations. These are moving on. These are going suck. in the basket. Don't make me get in on this. Get in on it. Huh. Yeah! Oh, I got 
got one. Our first semifinalists are Marshmallow Peeps versus Russell Stover's Solid Milk Chocolate Rabbit. Take a peep, my friend. I, I'm sure I've had these on the you show, but like in my normal life, uh-uh. I well, can't make sense of it. Like They used to have wings. Until 1955, they had wings. These originally, back in the day, it was a 27-hour hand-making process using pastry tubes that would make these things. Okay. But then, when Sam Bourne purchased uh, the company back in the day, he automated the process with a machine dubbed the Depositor, and now it only takes six minutes to make a peep, but it only takes six seconds to eat it. But this is just chocolate. Even if the chocolate itself is not bad, there's not a lot. I, I I just I understand why people don't like peeps, but I mean I kind of like it. This chocolate is not good, but it's still chocolate. I mean, come on, come on. It is good. It I is mean, kind of good after, especially after eating those. The artwork is really nice. The artwork on this thing is is terribly inconsistent, and they they, they okay. don't look like peeps, man. Okay, the number one seed is going to the finals. That means that we've got to punt, kick it to the curb. We only got two chances. So close. Oh God, God, that was so <laughs> weak. We'll leave those there for a year. All right, this semifinal round is between Brock's Marshmallow Chicks and Rabbits and Brock's Marshmallow Easter Hunt Eggs. Now listen, some people were so passionate about these Easter Hunt <coughs> Eggs that they wrote them in even though they were already a choice. <coughs> and then one user, we don't know who it was because it was anonymous, wrote, those Brock's Marshmallow Easter Hunt Eggs, oh my God, oh my God, they are so gross for years. I thought it was just whipped sugar that had gone stale after sitting on the shelves in the store for so long. They are lying to you. It's not marshmallow. Marshmallow is fun and fluffy and a delight to eat. Marshmallow is for roasting over a campfire, perhaps with some chocolate and graham crackers, not stuffed into the darkness of a thick sugary coating, only to be forgotten about and given to some unsuspecting child on Easter morning. You got one yet? No. Seriously. I think what you gotta do, Link, you gotta pull, then push. Pull, then double pull. Oh, the arms are kinda nice. It's kind of like those big balls of bubble gum that are really sugary on the outside and then nothing on the inside. And but, then you keep thinking, but shoot. Like, like, just like that comment you read, there's nothing marshmallowy about this. It's chock full of lies. It really is. But this, son, man, this is so awful. But you know the difference? It's definitively horrible. The flavor. Circus peanuts are banana flavored. The, this, this tastes like an edible piece of gum. I mean, are there different I'm, I got gum on the mind. I'm just saying, they're not as bad as a circus peanut, and you get some chicks and you get some rabbits. Can you still say chicks? If you're referring to chick, baby chickens, yes. So, I hate I hate these, and I, I hate, hate these. these, but I hate these a little more than I hate these. I hate these a little bit more. Well, we need a tiebreaker. Uh, let's call in the chaser bunny. He's back! I'm glad, I'm glad we don't agree because. I don't know exactly how this works. I think he's gonna lay an egg that's got his answer in there. You need to eat it first? Take it, take a taste. You can eat, you can eat yourself. Yeah, don't be afraid. He's, he's, he's yeah. timid. Yeah, just, he's just, timid like a little bunny. Yeah, yeah. Look, he eats like he's eating like a little carrot yeah, or something. Look at that. Look I've at got it. a really close up view of how he eats. I'm trying not to look directly at him. Wow, look at that. Okay, he's gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> just push it right into your little rabbit mouth. It's gnaw on it there. Look, it's just like feeding a rabbit. It's like being going to the petting zoo. Okay. He doesn't seem he's, to like, whoa. see this is, he, this is the face of a Easter bunny being lied to. The only way we're gonna know which one he hates less is by seeing what he lays in. Oh, so he's, oh wow. So he's laying the one he he's likes more. Egg. Are you laying the one you like more? Okay. <laughs> okay. He's like, I had to think about that. Which one does he like more? Oh, oh he likes. He likes the circus the peanuts Easter circus more. peanuts. So he agrees with you. Yes. Which that means that the peanuts are gonna be punted and nope. the eggs yeah. are going on. Yeah, let's just go for rapid fire here. Oh, you got one. One went in there. Six missed. It all comes down to this. Our final matchup. Marshmallow Peeps versus Brock's Marshmallow Easter Hunt eggs. Now, I haven't had the white ones yet. Let's see if we can, if these things can redeem themselves. We've learned how to open them, but I mean, it's so hard. Now, Marshmallow made it's it like, to It's the, got shellac. 
It's freaking shellac. It's like, yes, polished. Now, marshmallow flavored things made it to the end, but these are actually marshmallow. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I gotta give it that. It's got a marshmallow give. It's got, mm. it's got, that's about it. It's got a sugary coating and it's got eyeballs. These are not very popular. They're the number one seed, but they're Again, understandable and I, they don't lie to you. I thought the circus peanuts were even worse, but this is, this is trying so hard to be good for Easter time, but like Link said, it's shellac, it's bad. So it, these are slightly better. Yeah. Oh, nice. Let's just go for it. That means that we're going to say officially that Brock's Marshmallow Easter Hunt Eggs are definitively, according to Good Mythical Morning, the worst Easter candy that you can get, and that means we're gonna put them in the little bunny barf bag. Oh, sorry. Bye. I thought you were gonna give him high five. I think he did too. <laughs> I don't know where his hands have been. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what? <laughs> I'm Bethany and I'm Jenny, and we're from Brookings, South Dakota. We're trying a zero bar for the first time, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. There are people in South Dakota. <clears throat> and so are, and they have zero bars. Yeah, they do. Hard to find both. Click the top link to watch us discover the weird array of real peeps products and good mythical more. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is going to land. To get the Rhett and Link Sing Lionel vinyl release, join Third Degree Monthly by April 30th or Third Degree Quarterly or Annual by June 30th. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.